What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back. I don't know why I have my mic down, um, but we are going to be practicing some of the awakening skills today um, and giving them a test and seeing whatnot. We have to get to level 60 to unlock them all, but we're over here at the abandoned iron mine. We're not trying to fight anything difficult. I'm just trying to test some stuff out and see how it goes. So let's get down here. Take this out. So it's really just a matter of trying to figure out how I want to best... Ooh. I like this more when we're... I gotta get over here. When we're out here actually fighting. Because then I can actually see how it works. This is a great attack. I don't actually think I need to switch off of it. Let me kill these guys. And then we'll go take a look at some other abilities. Alright, so let's go up the hill real quick. Am I being followed? Alright, no, we're good. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop into our skill menu. Go to Awakening. Okay, so right now we have Shadow Leap. Which pretty much just jumps us forward. We have Violation. Ooh. Okay, we have Grim Reaper's Judgment. So this is a charged ability. We have Turn Back Slash. Uh, we have the flow that, ooh, wait, what? And then Night Crow. How do you do these? When using, okay, the above are only effective when using the scythe after learning the skill. You must, I have to learn the skill. Okay, hold on, I want to learn those. Okay, these are learnable skills. What skills? Okay, okay, here we go. Here's what I have. Sorry, that's my bad. So this is Grim Reaper. This creates Fragment of Darkness times 30. We do have Shadow Leap. So can we get sh is Shadow Leap 2? Okay, I don't know about that. So Dead Hunt, Violation. We have Violation. We have... Do we have a Form of Nightmare? A flow Requiem. Grim Reaper. We do have Grim Reaper's Judgment. Turn backslash vile plan. What does the vile plan do? It just slam. It does a slam down hit. Soul harvest. Oh, so we actually have an. A, hold on, we have an a, a ability. So there's that. Ooh. No, no, we don't have an A ability. So is that if we have shard? Hold on, is that if we have shards of darkness? Uh, put that on. Um, no, switch back to the scythe. No. How did I do that? Wait, is that something different than this? Okay, no, that's right bumper. Right trigger is that. I guess I have to learn those skills. I don't actually have them. Okay, so learnable skills... Blades of Darkness. Hmm. That one's all right. Karshan's Nightmare. Okay, I can get. Okay, we got. We got to get this one. It's only nine points. We're gonna get that one. Shadow Leap. See this one. Ju eh. It's actually probably useful because you're not. Yeah, that one's probably useful. Violation pick that up i gotta do turn back slash so leave that that leaves us out of skill points but those are the ones that i really need because you need a i need a move to get out of combat if i don't have a move to get out of combat and oh wait wait when i dash forward oh wait, you know what it gave me my dash and it swings out of it now So we have that attack now. All right, hold on. Let me get down here and let's fight some enemies and see. Ooh, that just... Okay, so this one just keeps... You can keep this one flowing backwards. You, you can just slowly walk them back. Let's see here. We also got the forward one. Ooh. These are some very nice... 
uh, mob to mob move. Well, this one is. The other one's not, but this one is. It looks like if you use it, what is that, two two times in a row, it has a cooldown. It has about a five or six second cooldown. Which is probably good, because this would be a little bit too good if you could just repeatedly do that. Let's see, we have our generic. See, this generic one is really good. See, it's hard for me to, like... It's hard for me to, like, justify using the the amulet anymore. Like, I'm sure I'll still switch back to my amulet and, and do stuff on here, but... I mean, why is this... Why are my frames dropping here? I can't do what I want. Hold on. Get out of here. See, like, I think still in the large scheme of things... Let me go find some enemies, because I need enemies to do this. Because I think in the large scheme of things, I'll want to do, like, this to this. I'll want to do some of my... Like, I'll still want... I'll still want to use this ability. And then I think you just kind of switch into it after that. I think I think I should get off my main abilities and then get into the scythe abilities, pretty much. So, like... I don't really need enemies for this, but we'll slaughter some more. Eh. Actually, let's go... Let's go over here. I guess I can do this. It's actually pretty good for movement. I mean, these attacks are just so good for for farming mobs because they're they're quick, they're multi-hit attacks. They're just so much better than anything I had. Okay, so let's go back up to our rock perch and figure out what rotation of moves I think I should do. So we want to start with the amulet. See, the hard thing is, is I have to... It's going to take a lot of practice. I'm going to try to play this a lot more so I can get used to this. I want... Hold on. I want to kill these guys. Okay. So does that thing just continuously hit enemies as it goes forward? I still don't quite know. I need to figure out exactly what causes that to spawn. It's it's definitely on a retime... Or it's on a re... Or, a re-timer? It's on a timer. But I have to figure out what's the... Because it's not Shards of Darkness, because I have that full. Okay, so let's figure this out. Okay, so we we start with this attack, and then we slam. I don't know why it didn't let me slam there, but we do that attack. Let's... Okay, so this attack into the slam. Then we use our trusty old... Oh, I'm out of resources, that's why. Let me fill my thing up again. Okay, so... We do this attack, the slam, and then we go into this attack, hit him with this, and then we can shard, we can do that if, if I so desire, as well as this attack. Th those are kind of iffy, you know, if I feel like it attacks. I mean, they're not really have to. So, let's X those out. Those are kind of just filler attacks that I really like that, that potentially I could do, but... We don't have to do in the form of a rotation. They probably would slow me down more than they would help. So we want to do this attack. I'm going to do that. And then we want to do the up on here, even though it's not fully charged yet. Then I think we want to do a couple of hits like that, then go into the scythe, do the back spins, and then go forward spins until it has to... And then when it goes to the retime... or what, Why do I keep wanting to say retime? When it goes to the timer... To, to get refreshed, when this goes to the timer to get refreshed, I think that's when we switch back to here, and this then should be recharged. And then if this still isn't recharged, we can just immediately go back into the scythe. We can go like this and back into the scythe, hit them with the moves, and then switch back to here to do this attack, and then we can do this attack, because it'll be recharged by then. I think that's the proper rotation of skills that i should do um i can't really well I, I it needs to be stronger enemies because i just one sh i just like 
Like, these enemies, I don't know, they're not really a great... I mean, we can try it here. So you do that, and then we go into that attack if I had it, and then get a little bit of our bar back by doing that. Hit him with the backs to draw him in, and then forward to clear him out. Quickly back to this, to the next group, if it would let me do my attack. Then do the slam. Surprised the slam wasn't available yet. That See, that's... It's available now, so you can do the rotation now. And then smack him a couple... Smack him a couple of, Am I out of range? Am I really out of range? Smack him a, smack him a couple of times, switch him to this. Hit him with that one, back attack, draw him in, and then forward, forward to get to the next mob. Switch off of it. Go into this. Still a little, little bit clunky on it. Let's go ahead and cut over. Let's figure out what area I want to go to. And I'll cut over there, and we'll try it against some more difficult mobs. And then we'll call it an episode and I'll practice it. Uh, in the next video, I went ahead and bought uh, 40 of these scroll written in an ancient language. So we're going to go ahead and fight those boss enemies in, in, in an episode coming up. Maybe not the next episode, but in an episode coming up. But let's go ahead and figure out where we want to go. Um, What's close? Nothing's really close. Um... We could go up to Thousands. It's either Thousands or down here to the Bash Let's go down to the Bashims because I have a route at the Bashims. I don't really have a route at Thousands. I want to have a route at Thousands, but I just don't have a route at Thousands. So we're going to go down to Bashims. I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, we are back. Let's go ahead and go test this out on my Bashims route. So let's go ahead and run by these guys and get up to the main area. And we'll see how this goes against stronger enemies. Okay. Pull this out. Wait for the enemies that are chasing to follow me down into the pit. And let's do this. Go into this. Couple light smacks into this. Back it up. And go forward. One more. Switch off, back to this. See, it's just... Hmm, I gotta figure out one more attack to do. Because it's just a little bit too... Can I do my move now? Thank you. It's just a little bit too quick. Back to... Um, back to my amulet attacks. It's just a little bit too quick. I guess I could go... I could just fight a little bit more and do that attack. And then when I switch back, then it'll be time. Well, there's no one here to kill now. But then it'll be time to do that attack. That's about all I can think of. Is to just mess a little bit longer. So we'll try it up here. To do that, go into this. So we'll do that, go into that. I want to back him up to draw him in and then do the circle out, get to more enemies. Come back in, switch to this. That's yeah, still a little bit too quick. A little bit too quick. Wow, you hit like a truck. Alright, chill, dog. Oops, that's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Not in the corner. I will... F oh my gosh, you guys hit really hard! Oh my gosh! I was not prepared for that. I didn't even put on my shield. Okay, can we all chill for one second? I will kill you all. But can, let me get my health back. Alright, come here, violent infantrymen. Slam. Hit that. I got dodge out a little bit this time. It lets me cr oh oh I'm stunned oh that was that was tragic I got stunned but that's the does this dude chill dude chill chill leave me alone leave me alone leave me alone violent I 
I like having that attack now. My only issue is that this doesn't do as much damage. I mean, it does a comparable damage, but I feel like I need it to do just a little bit more damage. I feel like... I feel like I could just stay in this and do these attacks repeatedly. But I mean that's not much of a it's not much of a rotation and it I mean it's easy. I probably will do it when I'm feeling really lazy while playing, but it's definitely not the best way to do this. To to maximize any sort of DPS, it's not the way to do it. I do like how it does an attack out of that now. See, if you can get those enemies following you, man, that... that You can maximize some damage out of that. Because you can roll through them. Is a really nice way to potentially maximize a high amount of damage out of it. Hello, everybody. Can we come down here? Go. Got them all down. Hit them with that. Explosion. Tracked them in. Oh, I fell into the hole. Yeah, I think... I don't know. It's hard. I, I'm going to have to test this out and figure out the timing on the rotation. Because it really does... It really does make a difference if you want to do a rotation. Because when I switch back, I need to have this ability ready. If that ability is not ready, there's no point to switch back. Because it's one of the best things that I can do for DPS-wise. And crowd control-wise, because it knocks some enemies to the ground. So it helps me crowd control a little bit, at least. And it lets me get in free damage on top of knocking them down and dealing damage already. So I'm going to need to figure it out. I'm going to have to test it out and figure out the exact timing of how many attacks I can do. I mean, obviously it'll vary, but I need to figure out how many I can do. I, I need to know how, how, how many attacks I can do at the quickest possible rate, I think is the... Because if I know how long it takes if I do it the quickest possible, rarely will I ever, ever do it the quickest feasibly possible. And so... I'm thinking, so let's try this real quick. I'll practice this on my own, but let me try this real quick. So, you do that, one, two, three, switch. You do a couple of those, one, two, one, two, swing back, one, two, one, two, switch. Is it ready now? Yeah, okay. So that's what I gotta do. I just gotta do a double rotation with the scythe. If I do a double rotation once I get in here of one, two, one, two, and then one, two, one, one, switch. Oh, I might have that, but should be ready to go by then. Yeah, that's how I'm going to have to do it. I might be able to shorten it down. Is this ready yet? Okay, so that's ready. Let me try this one more time. Get my, get my uh, skill back up. Okay. So do that. That's not ready yet. Okay. Slam. It's got a 20 second cooldown, but I want to know... I didn't do it right that time, but... One, two... So, like, it's at the 10 second mark now. One, two, one, two. And then switch back. See, it's just a little over that amount of time. So that's, that's the problem I have. So I need open space, but I don't want any enemies to an, an, annoy me. Can I come over here into the water? Is this water deep? It's deep. Um, all right. All right, let's do it back here in this corner. This gives me a little room to work with. Okay. So get that up. Oops. Okay, pull these out. So we do this. One... So it's counting down. It's at 17 seconds now. One, two. Why is it not doing that right? There we go. See, that doesn't doesn't help me figure this out because now 
It's at eight seconds though, so it needs to. I need to have a couple of extra seconds. Do one back, then switch into it. I think that's that's the way to do it. Okay, so it's it's do the attack now, then it's do the up attack, then it's then it or then it's one two three switch, one two three back back forward forward back back. If my game wouldn't freeze. Forward. Forward. Back. And then not double back. Back. Switch. Should be ready again. So we can try. I don't have enough to do it. Okay, so I gotta wait. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's at about 17 seconds when that when that animation is done. That's where it is. It's about 17, 17 seconds. That thing saves us about three, three seconds. All right, so here we go. I gotta switch back to this. Okay, so you do that slam. Now wait for 17 seconds. Okay, now do this, switch into it. Back, back, forward, forward, back, back, forward, forward, back, back, swing, switch, Oops, okay. I don't know why I did that. What? I hate when it gets stuck in the... Oh my gosh, get out of the low kick animation. Game. There we go. I don't know why... Sometimes it, like, gets in this low kick animation and it doesn't want to do the attack I want it to do. But, yeah, that's the that's the rotation. It's, it's into this, and then it's back, back, forward, forward, back. Back. Obviously, I'll be aiming this in the correct directions when I'm fighting, but you guys get the point. Back, back, then you switch into it, and it should be good to go. Yeah, that's the rotation of it. So I'll practice that so that we're better at that for the next video, but that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't. Let me know if you guys have any better suggestions for a rotation that I could do, but that incorporates the two attacks that I really like, which is the slam and this, the 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 bloody calamity i like it a lot because it gets me health back um and it hits a wide amount of targets but yeah that's gonna do it guys hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you guys later peace